they got a hold of a guy in Tennessee. So, yeah, they work. But yeah, that sounds like uh, the transmitter uh, receiver type setup, like uh, the HW16 with the VFO. You know, you could take the, the VFO and run it up and down, and then you put it on. Uh, I forget what the settings are, but uh, you uh, set them together. You set the uh, transmitter on something, and then you uh, dial the VFO over uh, to match it, and then you can uh, transmit and hear both. So, yeah, well, uh, we see that there was uh, the HW-16. Uh, that there was either crystal control, you know, what the novices use, or you could, uh, I built a, uh, a VFO to hook to it so that I could go anywhere, you know, just dial it in. So, well, it sounds good. It sounds like uh, you've got what you, uh, what you like there, that little, you like everything miniature. It sounds like it's pretty miniature. Then I 
I go up to 28, uh, oh, uh, just what is it, oh, 30 or somewhere up in there. And I, uh, I pick up a, a few up there. But 15, 17, now that's when I'm using Judy's clothesline. That there is uh, 83 feet with a uh, on it, uh, it's an uh, end fence. You know, and Judy's clothesline is right outside the bomb shelter. And I just I run the uh, uh, cable right inside and hook it up. And it works good. Made several contacts on Judy's clothesline. Mm -hmm. Lenny over here and you're on big guy. N8XLQ, good morning. Uh, I'll, have to, uh, I'll have to look that up. 
Gallery comments. <laughs> All right, I'll shut up. say either one. Uh, one 
sports was in the uh, mid 70s. So everything was fine up here. I finally got my uh, lawn mowed, and all them gigantic critters that had been hiding in it, uh, they had to go next door. Now he's going to have to mow his lawn because now he's got a bunch of big critters in it. So, uh, yeah, it today, uh, yesterday was a good day. Today, hopefully, it'll be a little better. And I hope you're the same down there. Uh, been here 
be saved. Well, there's probably somebody else, but you know how my memory is. I forget, I forget uh, uh, where the coffee pot is. No, I never forget where that's at. <laughs> but uh, that's the one right off the top of my head. I don't know if Rick is there, uh, but I'm pretty sure Lenny is uh, is standing by waiting to check in. So we'll back out of here. We'll be here for about, uh, about 20, 25 minutes, and then we'll head for the kitchen. So... W-A-U-A-W-B-A-B-M-W. All righty, very good, Jim. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for uh, being in here this morning and kicking things off for us here on the barometer in the morning. Really appreciate you doing that. And, uh, yep, we'll get over to the two guys here, uh, Rick and then uh, Lenny, and then um, that will pick up any short-time remotes.
Sleep. Sunshine to look at this morning. It looks like school bear. 
the penny. We're at 337 now. So yesterday was uh, Cinco de Mayo, and our Reverie Club was helping out at a local restaurant, and we had a lot of fun, uh, helping you know, help clear tables and pass out chips and salsa and that kind of stuff. And we even uh, raised um, $600 in a 50-50 raffle, so it was, it was a lot of fun. So today, uh, uh, it's, uh, well, what's going on right now is the coronation of Charles III, if you're uh, uh, a royal follower. And uh, tonight is the Kentucky Derby at 6.57 at the post time. So if you're interested in horse racing, this is one of the big ones. Um, and then uh, this, uh, on Sunday afternoon, we're going to head out to Grand Rapids to visit um, our grandson. <coughs> you go again and uh, take some... Uh, photos, so I'm uh, looking forward to that. It'll be an opportunity to have, uh, have our own photo together. Seven, three, five, eight, 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 eight. So with that, oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, don't forget, if you're looking for a bus drive, that's the is putting on a bus trip. Uh, information for that is on twocars.org. That's the number two, Charlie Alpha, Romeo Sierra, and uh, excuse me, dot org. Uh, so uh, get your ticket, get your bus bus ticket and uh, have some fun. There's a few openings left, so they'll be glad to have you. So with that, I'm going to take a break for time. Okay, so today in uh, 1937 is when the dirigible Hindenburg uh, exploded the flames while trying to land at Lake Hurst, New Jersey. Um, 1935, uh, President Roosevelt signed an executive order creating the Works Progress Administration. Uh, 1954, in Oxford, England, uh, 25-year-old medical student Roger Bannister cracks the track and field's most notorious barrier, the four-minute mile. Uh, he did it in three minutes and 59.4 seconds. And finally, in 1991, 51-year-old race car driver Harry Grant, again, racks up his 12th uh, NASCAR uh, Winston Cup uh, career victory at the Winston 500 in, in Talladega. Tel- Tel- uh, doing so, Grant bettered his own record as the oldest man ever to win a NASCAR event. So that's the way it was. This is KAPJW, back to the net.
your phone. Uh, man, I guess, uh, sounds, sounds great. Uh, terrible to join us this morning. I, I thought I was lifting it, sleeping in, and uh, something else, but I guess not with you. <laughs> but, uh, again, you had a great team yesterday, and I hope you have a great weekend coming up, and we'll talk with you later. All right, next up here on the list is Mike, K-E-A-C-H-P. Good morning, Mike. How are you doing?
if you're interested in a photo, you mentioned a uh, photo meetup uh, by a, a group. Um, this, uh, this morning, actually, from 10 to 4, 10 o'clock this morning until 4 o'clock this afternoon, it's uh, tentative time at least there's going to be a meetup at the Porter's Lakes, Amateur, or the Porter's Lakes um, uh, Park, um, State Park is. Not an amateur radio organization, even though uh, some might wish it was, but the Porter's uh, Lakes um, State Park. And I think Ryan is heading that up um, from the Massillon Amateur Radio Club and uh, inviting anyone if they want to stop by and kind of have a little mini field day set up there this morning. So, again, check it out if you're available, and that should be a pretty cool um, operation they got going over there. They got a couple other things they got to get to this morning, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make it over there, but for those who are uh, available, I'll definitely check it out. All right, next up on the list here is KB8 TCQ. Good morning, Ron. How are you doing? And uh, you got anything planned for the weekend? This is KB8 TCQ. Uh, good morning, Javen, uh, the netizens, and all the listeners. Um, you know, I, uh, uh, I'm planning on taking advantage of uh, sunshine and maybe uh, finish doing uh, some work in my flower beds. Um, uh, one of the gentlemen said something about uh, the grass still being wet. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, as the day progresses, some of it dries out. Uh, I appreciate you taking the net and doing a great job. Um, I uh, got, I guess, uh, walked on at, uh, at the beginning uh, by Andrew, and uh, that put me back uh, about 40 minutes. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, if you, uh, you don't get in real early, uh, you wait around for a while uh, because this is a very uh, active and interesting net. Uh, this is KBATTQ saying 73. Yeah, for sure. I didn't realize how long the first round was going. I guess we're still in the first round of check-ins, and it's already um, approaching 8 o'clock. So, <laughs> yeah, for those, uh, hopefully everybody who was short time stated it uh, when they checked in. We got everybody in here that needs to be in here early, and uh, don't miss anybody. Anyways, um, it's great to have you this morning. Thanks for checking in with us. And I hope you have a uh, great weekend. I'll talk to you later. All right, next up on the list is uh, KE8WPZ. Good morning, uh, Ethan. How are you doing? KE8WPZ, I'm doing pretty good today. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, we're out here camping and uh, about to cast along, so they're obviously crashed and varying places and uh haven't checked in for a while and i figured i'd check in today we have the antenna up and uh haven't been able to check in because we couldn't put the antenna through the trees so nice to check in today and uh say hello to everybody so i'm gonna hand it back to that 73 everybody k-a-w-v-v Thank you. 
operation there, or uh, is that kind of halted um, over the summer session? How does that, how does that work? Uh, thank you. Uh, let's get back here to a couple of 
Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. That's it. It's over, and uh, we're going to do it again, uh, hopefully Monday. This is Lenny N8XLQ over here in Huron City with my YouTube page, and this is the Barometer Net. Barometer Net playlist on my page. Um, you're already here, so you know that. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to do some radio stuff here for a little bit, and then I think I'm going back out to the gun club. And shoot and blow up more stuff yes private gun club so yeah when you're there you're the boss nobody telling you what to do because you're already supposed to know <laughs> all right you guys take care man um we're gonna have some uh some different videos popping up here pretty soon about 
antennas and radios and stuff like that as soon as I find some time. So guys, take care. Ladies too. Hang loose, and we'll see you again on Monday. Lenny and 8XLQ73s.